I welcome those who are gathered in the church and all who are with us online. Thank you for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist in Clonat Monastery, Belfast. It is a privilege having you with us from wherever you are in the city or in the world. The presider of the Mass is Father Owen, Minister of the Word is Amen, Sacristy Eden is Marian, Minister of the Eucharist is Gemma, sorry, GB, Amen, and Marian for the celiac. Altar servers La Ashley and Ellen, and my own name is Anu, and I'm the responder and the voice, especially for those who are joining us online. I invite you to please stand for the entrance hymn. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome as we gather here to celebrate our morning Mass. And today, together with our church, we celebrate the memorial of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop Saint Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church people after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, People of Zion, you will live in Jerusalem and weep no more. He will be gracious to you when he hears your cry. When he hears, he will answer. When the Lord has given you the bread of suffering and the water of distress, he who is your teacher will hide no longer and you will see your teacher with your own eyes. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear these words behind you. This is the way, follow it. He will send rain for the seed to sow on the ground and the bread that the ground provides will be rich and nourishing. Your cattle will graze that day in wide pastures. Oxen and donkeys that till the ground will eat a salted fodder, winnowed with the shovel and fork. On every lofty mountain, on every high hill, there will be streams and watercourses. On the day of the great slaughter, when the strongholds fall, the moonlight will be bright as sunlight and the sunlight itself be seven times brighter. 
like the light of the seven days in one. On the day that the Lord dresses the wound of his people and heals the bruises his blows have left. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to Lord. Happy are all who hope in the Lord. Happy are all who hope in the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. Happy are all who hope in the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of stars. He calls each one by its name. Happy, Happy are all, all who hope in the Lord. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked in the dust. Happy are all who hope in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. He summoned his disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sickness. These twelve Jesus sent out, entrusting them, instructing them as follows, Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You received without charge, give without charge. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Our Gospel today introduces us to the core of Jesus' mission, spreading the message of God's love, the good news, teaching the truth, and bringing healing to those in need. When Jesus looked at the crowds, he saw ordinary people who were lost and struggling with no one to guide comfort and, or strengthen them. Moved by compassion, he describes the great harvest but acknowledged that there were, no, there were too few workers to gather it. Out of this deep concern, he sent out his disciples, entrust, entrust, instructing them to bring comfort, hope, and healing freely without expecting anything in return. This message is especially meaningful during Advent for us. 
a season of preparation and reflection. Like Jesus and his disciples, we are called to be sources of hope and kindness, lifting burdens rather than adding to them. Advent reminds us to open our eyes to those who are wounded around us and offer love to support with generosity and humility, to be channels of the Lord's compassionate presence to all those we encounter in these Advent seasons. Today, we, all, we also honor Saint Ambrose, a man chosen by his people to serve as their leader. He carried out his duties with unwavering dedication and love. So as we reflect today, let us ask ourselves, how are we responding to our own call to serve? Are we bringing compassion, light, and hope to others, especially in this season of waiting and renewal? Gifts of bread and wine, gifts we offer, fruits of labor, fruits of love, take an offer, sanctify, blessed and broken. of one who died take my body take my saving blood gifts of bread and wine Christ our Lord <coughs> Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, <coughs> Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Yes, Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Father Raphael Gallagher, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ambrose, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by a divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <coughs> Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, my roof but, only but only say the word, the word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. We are conscious that we are one community with you who are online gathered by Christ's love. Even though you cannot receive Christ sacramentally, we unite ourselves with each other by praying together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> Soul of my Savior, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, beat me in thy tide. Wash me, waters flowing from his side. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of Saint Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. When creation was begun, God has chosen you. Mother of his blessed Son, Holy Mary, full of grace, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
stood you Thank you for being with us at Clonard for this Eucharist. Let us continue to pray for one another. We say goodbye to those who have been with us online by sending them the Clonard wave.